Yeah, they've gone back. They're not concentrated in the back. Okay, if you see here, it is a lot darker, actually. It's funny because the big peat is so pale. Yeah. And this one now is a lot darker. Okay. That's oh, this is very nice. That's a Lafroy, isn't it? Mm. Now you know this has <coughs> excuse me again very much a peat taste, but still, as you say, way smoother than the way smoother than the big peat. You can tell this is not a blend. Well, no, Bernie. Actually, what it is is that the big peat is made from younger whiskeys than here you have. By the way, the quarter cask Lafroy. Be long video. I don't care. I don't care if it's long either. I don't mind. That's fine. We're corrupting their nephew. <laughs> Come on, young boy, drink, drink up, young boy. <laughs> okay. Well, you it's waving your way. So you see, we're we're drinking in English and in French. <laughs> Andy, it'd be good to have you here to have your particular way of looking at these. You got that right, buddy. I, I wish I could be there, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not. It's killing you. So, guys, if I had if I had the airfare, I would have all opinion yet. But uh, this is like drinking. It's like I said. It's, it's I feel like I'm drinking a, a better version of the big tea. Well, what it is is it's a, it's a more aged whiskey. Mm -hmm. The big peat is it has younger yeah. Lagavulin and younger uh, younger Lafroy and younger uh, Kalila in it. We don't have any Beaumont here. No, and you don't have any Kalila either. We don't have any Beaumont. Kalila. Beaumont. This is better. No, but Beaumont, which we I made mean, uh, with Andy, we bring Beaumont together. Beaumont was much more caramel. Than and then again, it's yeah, and the curious thing about Beaumont is it loses yeah, its smoke <coughs> as time goes by. Yes. So, now we're going to go on to clean the palate again. Oh, hell, that's a good idea. We get a glass okay. of water. <laughs> Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker, Black Yeah. Okay. You've got to you've got to tame the fire of drinking alcohol. Now, if we're going to the what I'd like to say to Dave Nicholson, I'm afraid, I'm sorry, but here we are in Canada, and we're not drinking any rye scotches, which you like. Oh my camera, the battery's dying. Uh, we're not drinking like any Gibsons or what. I might try and see when I'll be at the duty free if I can find any, but uh, I couldn't find any for the first one. Okay. Now we're gonna make a small pause again and we'll be back. Take care. Okay, so we're back again. Now this is you know I was you can tell I've been in Switzerland too long. I was calling it Art uh, German style almost. It's, it's Art Bag. It's Art I don't even know if it's pronounced that way. So look how much more paler it is. It's more like the big feet as far as I have some right here. But way different. So no, you can have some with him. Let's let's pause Bernie for a second here, and let's pour us some art bag. Let's pour us a weed round of art bag. There we go. That's enough. And while we're doing that, see, I've got the, the ten-year-old art bag. This this is good stuff. I was drinking it this morning, and I thought, you know what? I don't have any Lagavulin. So here's what happened. I was drinking this and I thought, oh, tonight before we go get our groceries, I'm going to get some Lagavulin. But the grocery store didn't have any Lagavulin. The grocery store? No. The government liquor store that I went to that I thought would have it, or that I knew should have it. But I was talked into getting some Port Charlotte, which is this stuff here. This is a, it's from Brook Lady, and it's, uh, it's Port, Port Charlotte. This is, uh, this is a, a peated Brook Lady, and I've never tried it, but I'm, I'm tempted to. 
And then I went to another store next to the Walmart, and the store next to the Walmart had the leg of Vulin here. But he's he's drinking um, he's drinking the art bag, which I have right right here. Give this a little swirl around. I actually got the proper glasses for drinking whiskey now. These are the Glen Cairn glasses. These are fabulous. Mm. You get the benefit of the aroma, the bouquet. Mm. Oh. Oh. This is just wonderful. This stuff is so good. So good. Now, he's going to be drinking Lagavulin, right? Actually, I will save that glass for the poor Charlotte. <laughs> you could only afford two of the, the real glasses. Well, They're 20 bucks one. a shot. I could have bought another one, but I didn't. Um, I could have bought another one, but they're like 20 bucks a piece. And you know, when you can get something like Salon Number no. 1 for $28, I mean, that's almost a bottle of whiskey for <laughs> cheap whiskey. But this stuff, this stuff costs a lot more. This is like, this stuff was, uh, 124 bucks? 127. Yeah. That one was 124. Good thing you had a good week, eh, honey? I spent all my chiropractor money on these two... A month's chiropractor bills on these two bottles. Well, if you drink enough, you won't need to see a chiropractor. <laughs> no, maybe not. Now, I will put this one in the, the Swiss glass <laughs> because, you know, there's Bernie right there. You not to spill any. There's the Swiss glass with some. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Like a fool. Okay. Swiss glass with like a fool. There we go. Okay. And I might as well turn them back on. This is smooth. This is smooth. This is nice. The art bag, right? You don't like it? No, but it's good. Oh, okay. We talked about the big feet. This is nice. This is very peaty, very mm -hmm. smooth. I like this one. I've had it before at Olivia's. Mm -hmm. mm. Very nice. <laughs> but, you know, there's the peat, but mm -hmm. finally, still nevertheless, the peat takes over. There's not much else to it, is there? There's not much else to the peat taste, though. It's very smooth. I mean, it's not like taking half of your throat away, like the big peat. No. But still, I personally prefer it that way. Yeah, so do I. But this is more, I find this is more smooth. Hmm. Yeah, it's a toss up. I found the Laphroaig had, you could say, grabbed it more in your mouth, scratch more. I don't know how I could say it, but uh, Laphroaig down nicer. Laphroaig is is stronger. La Laphroaig oh, is harsher La than our. That would be. That'd be why. Laphroaig is more. Alcohol. Yeah, the Laphroaig has more character. More alcohol and I like too. The color better. Especially it's, it's, since you're drinking the quarter color. cask. With, when you're drinking the Ardbeg, the Ardbeg is only. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, well, it's 46 percent, but a quarter cask would be like 52 percent, and you can taste the difference. You can. No. You see, at the our big the big difference is that I'm a scientist and he's an engineer, and they, you know, they always calculate everything and we experience. <laughs> What if they brought the supplies and cocaine, crack, 
Bird Downer. <laughs> That's right. And all that junk. And you guys have brought buildings that fall down. Yeah, especially the overpasses around there in Montreal. I definitely get no respect. <laughs> those are the ones you helped inspect, those right? Those are the ones I inspected, yes. Now that's far. <laughs> Let's move on to our next thing I brought horses and the wall. Oh, yeah. Mm. Water. This guy's a veterinarian. He sticks his hands into all kinds of places. And <laughs> we won't talk about that. No. Okay. So we're on to the last one. So we're, you see, we're getting down to our last one, and we're starting to get very bad, <laughs> like to get very bad thought. So how many minutes do I have left? On like a fool? My battery's dying whenever it gets like this. We've got 20 minutes, it says. So let's see if we can really make it. This is going to be a long video, I promised it, but you know. What can I say? So let's go. Let's try this thing, guys. You know what, this ain't right. This is a no king thing. This is how you get your I'm showing you this one. Well, after the color somewhere in the middle, it's definitely darker. Okay, yeah. Like everyone's a little darker. Mm -hmm. hey, you know what's stupid? You no, know, I always used to think this was mm -hmm. going to be like the most strong as far as Pete was concerned. No, no. Lefroy. Lefroy is Petier. Definitely less. And yeah, it's also very smooth. Guys, yeah, opinions. It's peaty. It's saltier. Well, anything smaller than me. <laughs> than gold. <yeah. laughs> yeah. No, I mean anesthetic. No. But you, do you agree that it's small bit? If you go one for one, you can all bit. So he's saying it's the, a bit of everything. It's not, it's got a bit of everything. Nice and Nicely balanced. It's quite nicely balanced, actually. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Now that I've used well, the Glencairn I glass, My opinion no other glass. Will do. No. Lafroy, nevertheless. But they're all quite different. The Lafroy is the strongest of those. Similar prices. My, by the way, if ever you're in the States, my brother bought a lot of his stuff in New Hampshire because of the tax. I think it was less taxable. Uh, definitely the big peak, if it's the same price range. Oh, this is beautiful. It's Lagavulin way is beautiful. It would be way too expensive. It is very rough. A lot of people I know like Lafroy <coughs> would say it's very good. Lafroy is strong. That is the mildest of all of the of this series. Which one did he say was the mildest? No, there's less peak taste to it, and so on. The others have more. Ardberg, well, actually, Ardberg, Lafroig, and Big Pete all have a lot of Pete taste. Yeah. And I think I would agree with my brother in law that the La Gavoline is very balanced. But my favorite, Lafroig. Yeah, my favorite mm -hmm. is Lafroig. Freud is good. Mm -hmm. And Francois probably goes for La Gavoline as your favorite. He didn't say that. Yeah. He, he didn't say that? Yeah. Did he <laughs> okay. He did. He did. So, okay. Overall, Lagavulin we're is going for Lafroy. So, I'll be DC. Brother of DC, which you see on other videos. Brother in law of DC over there. And, uh, well, the, other, the only other taster. <laughs> Uh, he's tasting beer. <laughs> and the uh, nephew of the no, beer. It's just, I mean, what is he just as beer? <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we'll be signing off on this, what will be probably my longest video. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.
excuse. Well, so long that it'll be not for a Unfortunately, I don't have any Lafroy on me, but I do have Kalila. Kalila is very nice. It's a different kind of a peat ex uh, uh, experience than um, Art Beg or Lafroy. I've got some more Art Beg, which I had some of. The Lagavulin is surprisingly, I haven't had a Lagavulin in a long time, but yeah, it's not quite as peaty, but it's, it's saltier. Now, I think I'm going to try the Port Charlotte. This is a, uh, I think I mentioned what it was already. It is a uh, heavily peated Brooklady, also from the island of Isla. Did I say that right? I think I said it right this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let's add to that. It's another $124 worth of this game. You're worth it, honey. <laughs> I had to work for it. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a little bit of... Yeah. So much for the Swiss glass. Glen Cairn. It's the way to go. Okay. Ooh, I wasn't going to do this, but because of Bernie's video. Oh, you got to blame somebody, do you? Yeah. Okay. This is the Port Charlotte. I, Yorna Alba. I can't pronounce that properly. I probably butchered it to hell. It's a Port Charlotte 11. Port Charlotte was a distillery. They stopped making whiskey back in 1929. But, <laughs> They've been kind of um, resurrected by Bruchladi. I've never had a peated Bruchladi before. Mm. I think I'm desensitized. After the art bag, <laughs> everything else tastes like nothing. Mm. Lafroy would do the same. So if you're going to drink them, you, you, you go Lagavulin, Ardbeg, and then Lafroig is the last one. The heavy peat at last. The heaviest. This one says heavily peated on it. So, like, don't disappoint me, Port Charlotte. I think this one will... Oh! This is not like an Ardbeg. Ardbeg is zoom, peat. It, it's peat and like Bernie said, not much else. But here there's something else. There is peat. Peat, smoke, phenolic. I wouldn't say road tar, but I would say creosote. Nice. There's definitely creosote in here. <laughs> cool, lick a tree stump or a fence post or something. <laughs> Hydro poles. Mm. 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 But there is. There's something else. I'm, I'm getting something raisiny or figgy. Dried fruit? Dried fruit. Yes. Mm. I don't know which one is stronger. The Port Charlotte or the Lagavulin? This one, this is more, a little more fruity than the... the I, it's going to take me a while to get to know this one. It's complex. It is complex. It, it's it's so complex that I don't 
definitely salty. Definitely peaty, smoky, but not overpoweringly. It's, there's a balance to it. It's balanced like the Lagavulin. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna gonna enjoy getting to know this one better. Well, oh, there no. you go. You know, I wish I could have been with you, uh, Bernie and family. Um, it would have been a treat. We will have to do this someday and get together and <laughs> and, and and really enjoy things instead of virtually. And we won't be drinking a bat fifty either. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? Yeah, so long. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick.